Hey everyone, today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm just going to kind of test out some extensions that I discovered. Um, three to be specific. It's not something that I would say is like super crazy, um, but I just find them interesting and I think they're pretty cool. And um, I just wanted to talk about them. So yeah, so these extensions are for Stable Diffusion UI. And uh, the first one I want to talk about that I think is pretty cool is this background removal. It allows you to remove the background, uh, kind of self-explanatory. I don't know how it detects, if it detects like humans and objects, or I'm not sure, but right here, it's like an object. I've been testing it out and I wanna show you how it works. So you put in your image like you normally do, you know, your prompts and everything. When you install this extension, you get this little option right here that says remove background and you can enable it and you run it like you normally do. I use control net and then it gives you an image without the background, which is very cool. Um, it does seem to detect other people and it includes other people if they are in the background, but not like far off. It's just more people that are close by your subject. I think this is kind of a cool feature. Let me actually test out uh, like another one. So uh, I'm testing this other one and yeah, it removes the background perfectly it's very cool the only downside that i have seen with this is that the only way to get this with a transparent background is if you like you can't can't really save it right here it doesn't let you but if you click on here and you right click and save image as you can see that it's a transparent background this is another one where i remove the background and it does a really good job with it the only thing is like if I try to export this as a batch, let me show you what, what it looks like. I tried it earlier. So when I try to export it, because I would love to do this for video, I can export it as a PNG. It exports the one with the background normally and the one without a, the background. And it's a PNG file, but unfortunately it's not a transparent PNG file. It sucks because it would be so cool if I exported a batch and just run it all and make a video without the background. Um, it's not perfect. You know, there's there's parts here that like it's missing this leg here, but still, I think it would have been cool to, to have this option. Um, I don't know, maybe the alternative is if, I guess a good way to get around is if, if it automatically added like a green screen behind him or something. What it does work great with is like if I want to use this like as a thumbnail or create something where it's just one image and or else I would have to download these one at a time from a video. But uh, this is cool for like if I want to create a thumbnail, I save it and it's transparent. Um, I'm going to put the link to all extensions down here and I'll show you how to install them at the end. But I just want to show you what they do first. So the second one is this one. Um, it allows you to have a little bit more control of like colors by uh, targeting certain words that you put in there. Like for example, it says here, uh, cute girl, white shirt with green tie, red shoes, blue hair, yellow eyes, pink skirt. And this is with the cutoff disabled and you see slight similarities, but you also see differences. Like the pink skirt is not consistent with all of them. Blue hair is not consistent, but when you do enable it, you get some variety, but the colors are consistent with each other. Uh, this works well for like text to image when you're creating images. But uh, I also find you can also use it for image to image pretty in a pretty cool way. Let's say, for example, you want to make this image of this woman, you want it to be blonde hair, right? So let's just say with yellow hair with yellow hair and you might see a slight change in the color tone yeah there is a slight change but let's say you want it like a little bit stronger than that right so you come to cut off you enable it you put yellow normally it's at one but if you bring it down to a negative let's see what happens yeah i got a little bit more yellow let's bring it down even more by the way, I don't know exactly how this works. I just know that it does this, so don't at me. Yeah, so you see it's getting more and more blonde. It is affecting the quality of the image slightly, 
but um, let me see. Um, and green, let me put green. Curious as to what it will do. Hmm. I put this all the way up. Doesn't really do anything. Put this all the way down. Doesn't do much either. But if you put, if I click on cut, cut off strongly, yeah. Then you see the blonde and then you see a little bit of green here. It doesn't really make the whole thing green, um, but it does affect it. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Um, I kind of get the gist of it. I know that uh, right here, kind of how it works, uh, hides tokens from, for each comma separated group. Cute girl. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but uh, I'm sure you guys do. But, uh, you know, just sharing it with you. Um, and then the last one I want to talk about, it's, it doesn't have to even do with image to image, but I just thought this was really, really cool because I do mess around with 3d modeling myself and to be able to create, um, these panoramic images creates like a 360 view of like an environment. Uh, I believe you use it for like 3d, like lighting and to get like good reflections of, of objects and stuff. So here I put in HDR, I panoramic view of, of a nice room and then you go to pano and then man, you get to see, you get to preview this as a kind of like a 360 environment. Yeah. It's very cool. And oh, you can preview it here too. Uh, I, I don't think you can export it as a different, uh, you export it as a regular image, but this is just the way for you to preview it and how it would look, I guess, if, if you just want to test it out. But I thought this was really cool. So to install these extensions, you just come to extensions here. I'm going to put the links to all these extensions. Uh, just copy the URL and then, and then you can put install from URL and then you can just install it. And then it will appear here and just apply and restart UI. And then um, uh, some of these, I think you have to totally just restart Stable Diffusion. So if it's not popping up um, on your UI, then just restart it completely. Yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to talk about. It's nothing, nothing big. Don't make a big deal out of it. Don't tell me how uh, I don't know what I'm talking about because I don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to share it because I just thought it was cool. Um, yeah, I, I just want to remind you guys, man, like, uh, I'm not a technical guy. I am not, I, I often don't know how everything works when it comes to like coding and stable diffusion. And I just, I'm a guy who presses buttons and, and sees what happens. And, and the only reason I make tutorials is because people really, really want them. And you guys give me some good feedback on them. So. I know that I make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes I, I say things that are not correct, things that are not accurate, but I am trying my best. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to act like I'm like I know everything, you know, because I don't. But I know how to do a lot of things and I'm good at certain things and I acknowledge what I'm good at, what I'm not good at. But interestingly enough, I've actually been uh, learning a lot about like just kind of code and how things work um just because i've been working on these videos i've been learning without even you know uh, without really wanting to but um if i find any new cool things i'll definitely talk about it in the future yeah all right everyone thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys peace